Grab project, gravity assisted pulse motor two stage oscillator configuration. We uh, removed uh, two of the garage door springs from this end. We have uh, 70 pounds on there now. The whole, uh, we're replacing the springs with weights uh, because uh, the whole uh, operational characteristics of this device will be as it uh, lifts the uh, lifts the weights and then uh, you know it's the falling weights that will actually power the device so the only work that will actually be done at this end is to lift the weight and then gravity as the weight falls will will drive the uh, transmission and permanent magnet alternator uh, we have a uh, we mounted a bicycle wheel for a power takeoff uh, halfway through the um, uh, transmission and uh, we're going to be testing uh, one of these little uh, hoverboard motors. They're uh, three phase. Uh, the example video shows uh, about 10 amps and 12 volts at around 600 RPM. So I don't know if this is going to be able to reach the RPM but we can always add a second PMA and run them in parallel. There seems to be uh, more than enough torque. I tried, uh, you know, grabbing onto the shaft and stopping it, and it wasn't. I, I wasn't able to. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So there's, there's even though it's a low RPM, there's uh, a lot of torque, and then we'll get the, uh, you know, the step up from, from, uh, from the, uh, you know, increased diameter of the bike tire. So this will get mounted. Uh, I don't know, somewhere like that. And uh, we'll see what kind of uh, output we get using a uh, the power conversion circuit, which is a uh, pulse width modulator circuit. Uh, there's a bunch of options there. You can use, uh, you know, one designated for uh, solar panel configuration. It has the uh, built-in uh, power management to protect your batteries from overcharging. Or, uh, you know, we, there's bunch of different combinations we can try. Uh, the new uh, new flywheel has been installed. This is five pounds instead of ten pounds. Um, we can stick up to uh, I don't know sixty pounds down there. But as the uh, as the gear train uh, increases in RPM, so does the load. So you know, I imagine there's uh, a lot of fine tuning that's going to have to be uh, be um, implemented. And uh, so there's our wheel. And I don't know. I don't know what kind of you know. If we get five amps out of it, we'll add a, uh, a sec. These are uh, these are inexpensive, about thirty bucks a piece, or you can buy them used or recycle them if you're lucky enough. Um, what else? Oh yeah, we uh, finished up the. Uh, the second coil for uh, whoa, kind of dizzy here for the uh, electromagnet configuration. So the other one will go on the uh, the other side, and then as the uh, pendulum swings back and forth, and uh, it'll trigger at the appropriate time, hopefully, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So things are looking up. Basically, the transmission's complete. Uh, Gives a better uh, yeah, illustration of what's uh, what'll be going on. Uh, this is the uh, transmission and power takeoff is going to be pretty much constant for you know any design that's uh, you know tested in the future. Uh, we know the uh, the orbiting 10 pound uh, weight drop uh, worked from uh, a few years ago. And uh, there's a couple other fi uh, figure, uh, configurations, 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 I don't know, uh, anyways, that uh, that can be tried. So, uh, what's really amazing is uh, so little manual weight or manual effort is, uh, you know, required to operate the device from this end. And basically, you know, you're, you're lifting a weight. And the weight's falling, and the falling weight is doing all the work. So, we'll, uh, should be testing in a couple of days. There's still a few more things I have to do. 
beef up the frame and uh, you know fabricate the motor mount get the uh, electromagnets working and then uh, then it'll just be fine tuning uh, right now uh, really doesn't there's not enough weight on this end to uh, to get it to uh, you know do any useful useful work anyways but uh, it'll uh, it'll improve in a couple of days so thanks for watching enjoy the day hope everybody has a uh, respectful and uh, safe holiday cheers Uh, one last comment. I had to leave springs on the other end. It was just too dangerous uh, without them. Uh, it was too much like a deadfall. <laughs> uh, so the springs uh, add an element of safety, even though it's still, you know, a dangerous device. But uh, we'll uh, let you know how things go in a couple of days. Cheers. So, no wind, no power, no sun, no power, uh, no hydro, no power, uh, nuclear, well, <laughs> good luck with that, uh, but uh, gravity is always on, so, you know, even uh, like a constant 50 watts, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week is, uh, you know, not too bad. Uh, we'll try to loop the system so that it's self-powering. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, the whole point of the uh, this exercise is to uh, use as, as little as electricity at the input, let uh, weights and gravity, mechanical advantage, uh, do all the work, and then harvest as much uh, electricity at the output as possible. And if we get more uh, electricity at the output than the input is being used, and the uh, additional uh, energy is coming from, uh, you know, the force of the, uh, that's generated by the electromagnets and magnets uh, and the mechanical advantage and gravity. And then uh, we'll be able to take that electricity and run it back into the battery that's operating the system and uh, see if it is self-sustainable. But the, uh, the device is quiet. And uh, even if you have to stand here and pump this thing up and down manually, it's still <laughs> relatively easy. <laughs> so, it's, uh, we're on the right track. Cheers.